Now the boy gets his first. You are looking at a scene from the old TV show, Candid Camera. This experiment done back in the mid-60s. Three small kids, one ice cream cone. The two girls first tried to lure the cone from the little boy. Be a best friend. No, you can't have it. But then soon the girls start to badger him playfully. Until he gives in. Okay, here's the whole thing. Flash forward to girls more grown up. Ugh, I haven't looked at that in forever. As we know from the movie Mean Girls, females can be an awesome army, whether taking on each other or a target they've chosen together. Vintage. So adorable. Thanks. <laughs> that is the ugliest effing skirt I've ever seen. We studied children in various countries throughout the world. In Brigham Young University's Dr. Craig Hart, Dr. Clyde Robinson, and Dr. David Delson. They conducted a study to see why some girls start being mean as early as three. You mean the I don't want to play with you, I don't like you. Yeah, don't, or don't play with her because she picks her nose. And, and what is that from? I mean, the calculation there must be pretty primitive. <laughs> so what's that about? <laughs> if a child feels fairly insecure to make themselves feel better about themselves, the one way is to put others down. The girls, they're going after the, the emotional juggler. Girls who know so much more about the emotional juggler than boys of the same age. Think of what they can do as emotional wilding. Happy birthday to you. John Halligan knows all about this. He's a devoted dad whose kids always knew they could turn to him for help. Oh my God, this is so cool! <laughs> oh. Thank you so much, Morgan. As a little boy, he was a hugger. Right. You know, if there's one word that, this, that people use the most to describe Ryan was, was just gentle. But his son Ryan also had learning and motor disabilities, ones that made him a little more awkward than the other kids. No. When some of the boys started bullying Ryan, his dad got him into counseling, taught him self-defense. Middle school was a crazy place. This girl, Ashley, knows how bad it was because she stuck up for Ryan back then. You make it sound tough. Oh, it, it, middle school is really tough. Gentle Ryan often pushed to tears. One day his dad says Ryan made the mistake of telling a friend about a recent medical exam. He had a wicked sense of humor and I'm sure he thought this was a funny thing to tell the kid that he got a rectal exam as part of the, the emergency uh, room uh, visit. Uh, but unfortunately, the kid took that information and spun it around the school that Ryan was gay. His schoolmates jumped in. They said it was like a feed in friends. It was like almost everybody in the school was kind of piling on him, calling him all sorts of names like that. And I know he just kept it inside. But there was an additional wound. Ryan had begun an online friendship with a girl he secretly had a crush on. There was a girl that he saw and liked. Yeah. Yeah, this is hard. The girl was Ashley, the same girl who once defended him but had now become one of the popular kids. We were bitches. <laughs> I know he got picked on a lot and I did the picking, like I was pretty mean. Biggest mistake. Buying him a computer. Along with other girls, she pretended to like him to flirt with him online. How teasing. Like, we want you and, like, stuff like that. Ryan started to believe Ashley might be interested. Then Ashley and her friends quickly turned it all around. When he sort of got interested, we're like, oh, well, we would never go for someone like you. I can't believe you would think that. Like, really really cruel stuff you're just a loser I, I would never want anything to do with you like you're a loser yeah like you're a loser Ryan had no fists to defend against that well after I had teased him online with my friend and I told him that it was all a joke and he said girls like you um, are the kind of people that make me want to kill myself and at the time we were like why would you say something like that 
His loving parents had no idea that Ryan was also communicating online with another friend who had intrigued him about an escape from all of this through death. Urging, pushing, romanticizing. Right. No surprise, Ryan was having trouble at school and worried to his dad that his report card would be bad. I mean, he just went on about, you know, you're going to be so disappointed, Dad. I'm just a loser. I'll never amount to anything. And uh, I just, I thought at that point in time, I just needed to give him the pep talk of his life. So John Holligan sat his son down and told him he'd help him through this. He said, Dad, um, have you ever thought of killing yourself? And I said, yeah, I remember going into my bedroom and just burying my head underneath the pillow and wanting my life to end. And I said, you know, Ryan, imagine if I did actually do that, you know. Look at all the things we would have missed out on as a family. But alone in his room, Ryan would go back online, communicating with his death-obsessed pen pal telling him that he was thinking about suicide. That pen pal answered, it's about time. When his father was away on business, Ryan hanged himself. I hope I never receive a phone call like this again for the rest of my life. I was never prepared for what I heard on the other end. Johnny, you know, Ryan's dead. And what about Ashley, the girl who had once sweetly defended Ryan, but then became part of those who taunted him? She was 14 then, she is 16 now. And she came forward courageously to talk with us, with her nervous smile, saying how shattered she had been. She just wants to help, she says, if only she had known. It was so hard for me. Like, I can't even explain how, like, I couldn't even talk, basically. I couldn't. It was just so extremely hard. Did you feel guilty? Did you I feel felt responsible? So guilty, yeah. I don't blame her for Ryan's death. John Halligan says he forgave Ashley. He didn't want two kids hurt. You really see her as just what girls do? I really do believe it contributed to his depression. But that single act or that single person, is, it's not her fault. And what about that pen pal urging suicide? The messages were still on Ryan's computer after Ryan had died. With all the courage it could possibly take, Ryan's dad learned the identity of that young man and went to his parents at their home. What did they say? Not a whole lot. I think uh, about the kindest thing I can say is that they're in denial basically, and totally unaware of what their child was doing online. When you look back now and see the actual words, how do you keep yourself from just being a fist of anger? All I want is to be with Ryan again someday. And I know if I go down that path of holding that fist of anger and doing something I probably would regret for the rest of my life. Um, I'm worried I'd jeopardize that opportunity to be with Ryan again. And someday what will you say to Ryan? I love you. Boy, did I miss you.